God bless you everyone. Today we continue working with the B14. As you guys saw on the last video, we got our turbo complete. If you haven't seen that video, I will tell you to stop watching this one and check the last video, which you guys will enjoy. Now that we have the tube ready, we're getting ready to assemble the whole thing. Here is our turbo, and as you guys saw, we have the whole cold side clean up. We have the wheel ready. This one is a general bearing, no shaft play whatsoever. And then on the cold side, I have the T25 and everything speed freely and I replace a couple of the studs. Also, as you guys saw, we got the cold side painted and everything is figured out. So this one is ready as well. We're going to be installing everything into the manifold and getting the dump pipe ready. So I got everything here, have a couple of gaskets. So let's go. And when things are going well, always something goes bad. And yep, I just snapped one of the studs in the turbo just now. So I'm gonna, gonna have just to extract this one and try to replace it again. So here is the one that I broke. So let's try to extract that one right now six and a half hours later i was able to extract the stock and i missed out big time but somehow i figured out I'll get a way to get it done and this is what i did so here is the new stock that i got and my the problem that i had is that when i extract the old one I make the hole sideways and you guys can see how the ball doesn't sit flush and is slightly loose but anyway I hope I hope that make the job all right so it is a new day and I just got out of work what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go to meet Manny because he's gonna help me to weld and retap the hole that I did a couple days ago I have the turbo apart and honestly what I did I didn't I wasn't feeling comfortable with it so what we're gonna do we're gonna fix it the right way so right now let me start by the storage unit which we got one already drop a couple things and then we're gonna go to the shop just to actually get that fixed for a couple hours so let's go Alright guys, so welcome to my humble storage unit. 
So here is, well, we're gonna keep everything for now. So, yep, we all start somewhere. All right, guys, so I just made it to the shop right now, and we Manny back here. I know you guys have been missing Manny, but since we're here, um, he's gonna help me fixing the hole that I made on the hot side of the turbo. And uh, let me show you this. So like I said, everything is apart, and this one is the stud that I messed up. So you guys can see that I successfully strutted, but obviously I make the hole way bigger. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna try to, actually Manny gonna weld it. We're gonna try to fill it up with the welding, and then after that we're gonna try just to make a new hole and tap it, and hopefully it should work fine. So let's go. guys so here is how everything is coming up so this is the second time that we reweld and sand and that's how it's coming up so now what we're gonna do we're gonna just actually drill the hole to tap it so let's go tomorrow it's a new day and I just got here to the shop so yesterday we got into a couple problems and to make it simple is that the welding wire dry harder than the whole cast so we got drill bits and we went to uh, the outer part and got a couple of them but nothing worked because the steel that we weld is harder than the whole cast so what we did do some research and we stopped by home depot and got some carbide drill bits which is what i got so we're gonna attempt to do that again so let's try that now I don't know if you guys can hear me, but successfully we were able to make the hole. I have it right here, right now. So here is the hole that we successfully did. Right now we're getting air on the compressor to clean it up. And we're gonna get ready to tap it. I have the hole set over here. And I have it ready with the, the right size thread. So we're gonna go something like that and hopefully it should work. So I thought that we were almost done, but we're not. So right now we have another problem and that is that the tap bit thread got messed up. So right now I cannot tap the new hole. So what we're gonna have to do, um, we're gonna have to hack it because I was, trying to do the, I was trying to do it the legit way and now things are not working so we're gonna do like a getaway to get it on and that's it so let's see how everything come up so here is the world start that we did this is the second time because after we finished the first one didn't align properly so this time to make sure we were able to do it what we did we cut the housing on the side to be able to see the stud in and I put the, the down pipe and then just tack it and weld it actually this was my first time welding this time I did it myself I don't think they are the greatest one but I hope they will get the job done now what I'm gonna do since you guys can see the surface is not flat I went ahead and I got the Dremel over here and I stopped by Home Depot and I got this uh, carbide Dremel tool so I got two of them so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna go ahead set up the camera and clean up the surface and hopefully it should work so let's go A new day and it's been about five days in the last clip so I've been 
most likely sanding with a metal file for the last two hours and it's not perfect but hey I'm tired and that's the way it's gonna stay so we will the start I make a hole on the side over here all this was cut it we put the, uh, the start it got well it's not the prettiest job but it should get the job done and again it should look something like this after the whole thing is ready and that's most likely the uh, that has no gasket and here is like the small separation that's the smallest I have and that's nothing compared to the last four times so don't forget that I don't have a gasket yet so I don't know if I'm going to maybe use a SOS RTV because I know uh, Permatech makes one for leaks and stuff like that so I do have the gasket which I'm going to use but I don't know if maybe get that one to be safe because obviously after all this job after all this hard work I don't want this thing to be leaking so um, yeah so I guess that's gonna be for this video so yeah guys there you guys have it I broke the stuff on the turbo and we fix it in a getaway that should work so thank you guys for watching you guys have a nice day don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you the next one. God bless you all.